Muhammad Mahdi Akif was born in the same year the Muslim Brotherhood was founded, 1928. In his early teens, the man who would become one of the symbols of the organization became aware of its teachings and became a passionate advocate of its ideas. The Muslim Brotherhood rejected British occupation of Egypt and Western government style of liberal democratic society in favor of a model that placed Islam at the heart of political life. By the 1950s, oppression by successive Egyptian rulers led many of the Brotherhood's members to flee abroad, while others like Akef were jailed. Halil al-Anani has been researching and studying the organization for many years. He has many achievements, one of them that he is, uh, he was the, the most reformist leaders in the Brotherhood over the last, I would say, couple of decades. Since he took office in 2004, he uh, initiated many changes within the movement. Uh, he gave a new flavor of the movement. In the 1980s, the group disavowed violence and attempted to join the mainstream political process. But it was banned by the regime of former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak. Then it became clear that the only real opposition in Egypt was the Muslim Brotherhood, and for a large part of Hosni Mubarak's 40-year rule, Akif was his rival, encouraging younger members to become more involved. In 2005, under Akif's leadership, the Brotherhood won 20% of the seats in Egypt's parliamentary elections, running as independents. Mubarak cracked down on the group, again jailing hundreds of members. Then came the Arab Spring in 2011 and the fall of Mubarak. In the elections that followed, the Brotherhood's newly formed Freedom and Justice Party won nearly half the seats in the People's Assembly. But its success was short-lived. After a series of controversies involving constitutional reform, the army was deployed on the streets and suspended the constitution. The Freedom and Justice Party was outlawed. Members of the Brotherhood were once again on the run, in jail or killed, and Arkiv found himself behind bars. Now the Brotherhood finds itself at a crossroads. One of the most uh, significant problems that they ever faced over the last, I would say, six decades, the, the movement now is fighting on uh, uh, different levels. Uh, one of these levels is surviving. The movement is facing uh, uh, extraordinary repression from Sisi regime, and they fight to survive. Uh, many of them uh, now in a prison, uh, more than, according to some records, more than 40,000 uh, members are now in prison. The Muslim Brotherhood will view Arkev's death as state-aided murder, claiming he was never given the medical treatment he needed. His legacy will be the man who came to embody the politics of the movement in spirit and in life. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera.